Tom Miller behind the net. Here is Kennedy. Kennedy on the left side. Tabasso straight away. Back of the net on the left side. Tabasso finds the back of the net for Stony Brook. It is now 5 2 in favor of Stanford. Here it is. Back of the net it goes. Allie Kennedy makes it 5 3. Cutting the deficit to 2. Sabella from Kennedy back to Tabasso. Tabasso to the far left of Arline. Arline going to the left side, looking for a cut. Got in the back of the net to McCarthy. Beautiful chemistry between Arline and Kerry McCarthy. 29 to 24, and it is a one goal deficit for Stony Brook. He able to gain possession once again and dumps it off to Kennedy. The Seawolves have numbers. Kennedy back in the net once again. And that was Tara no Miller. Terrano Miller ties it up for the Seawolves, her sixth goal of the season. Excuse me, Ar Miller to Arline. Sabella. To McCarthy behind the net. Here's O Miller. O Miller going to the left. Cut is Kennedy. She falls. And counting it goes in for a goal. And Stony Brook claims the lead. Bucero back to McMahon. McMahon. Almost straight away from about 22, 23 yards out. She'll give it back to Bucero. McMahon, cutting for the back of the net. And she got it! A rifle shot past Tesorero. And McMahon ties this game back up once again. 6-6. Six, six. 137 left to go before we hit the half. Burns has it right here. To the right. Back of the... Behind the net, excuse me. And that was a goal! Behind was Arlen and dishing it off. I believe that was O'Miller. Can't really tell that ball happened so fast. Looking at the replay. That was Taryn O'Miller. Second goal of the day. That was so fast it happened. And O'Miller got it. No, excuse me, 81. That was Nicole Beretta. My bad, her first goal of the game. She had a hat trick last last game against Towson. It was her and Allie Kennedy who led the charge with seven goals combined, four and three. Carthy, 2-0 Miller, back to Kennedy. Gives it back to DeBasso as they play around the world. Sabella back to DeBasso, straight away. Getting a screen, nothing available. That is our line behind. Here is O Miller, screen, nice shot on goal. And that was Shabon Rafferty. Great assist from Tara Nomeo. The Seawolves now have an 8-6 lead. 29-09, not even 50, not even a minute into the second half. And Stony Brook is up two. Nothing available. Great defense here by this, by Stony Brook right here. Trying to find the cut. And a nice pass from McMahon. And getting the goal. And that was Ali Bayako. Her third goal of the game, and she gets the hat trick. And it is an 8-7 game now. Seawolves have the lead. Good assist there by Danielle McMahon to find the top scorer for the Stanford squad. And Allie Bayeko. Kennedy straight away to her right is Sabella in the far corner. Here is... O'Miller, O'Miller trying to find a pass. Good pass to find Beretta. Beretta makes the goal. Her second of the day. 9 7, Seawolf, 1945. Left. Great chemistry and a connection right there from O'Miller to Beretta. Starts to Watson. Defense is slacking for Stony Brook. And they pick up with Taron O'Miller able to keep possession of it. It's a ground ball open net. Oh. And that will be a goal and a bonus for Stanford. Tesserell had it to the left side. Tried to get the ball as she was about five yards out of her net. It was an open net, lost the ball, and Bunas made her pay for it. Wow. Not even 25 seconds after Stony Brook scores, Stanford retaliates. Tabasso dishes it. Here's Kennedy trying to make a move on Pelton. Nothing there. 
And trying to make a move. Oh, and falling down is Terran Miller, And she gets it to go. My goodness. Looking like her sister right there. Shades of Kylie O'Miller with the left side on the backhand and is able to rifle it past Stratton. 10 to 8 Seawolves. It's up. And she got it. Right corner. Good. 10 9. Stony Brook 17 49 left. Back and forth we go here at Canopy of Isle Stadium. And like I said before in the beginning of the broadcast, we have a good one today, and we have not disappointed our listeners. And that was... And another goal! And that was to buy a goal as well! Her fifth goal of the day! And this game is tied! With the left side! And gets it to go back to the net! Able to manipulate where Tessera was going to go and she finds the left corner. Lou her first goal of the game and Stanford reclaims the lead 11-10. 13-59 left in regulation. She's going to have to charge it. Here's Lucero gets it from Watson. Charging is Bunnis. Got it on the bounce. May have been five hole through Tessera and Bunnis gets her second goal of the day. 12-10 Stanford. 11-19 left. There by Julia Pershy of Stanford. Going towards the left. Here's O'Miller. Got it on the back of the net. Spin around. Spin around. And was able to find it past Gratton. Oh, what a spectacular shot by Tara O'Miller. And she's got the hat trick. 12-11 Stanford leads. 8.37 left to go. Basso making a charge. Gets past the defense. Nothing there, behind the net, goes to Muller, Muller to Beretta, Beretta back in the net, tie game, 7.51 left, 12-12. Possession will be Gertzen for Stanford, Stanford, and oh my, what a look by Gertzen to find Bunis for the third goal of the game, and it's 13-12 once again, Stanford reclaims the lead, 6.24 left to go. Bunis behind the net, back to Kurt, Gertzen. Open look, and found for the net was number 33, Jesse Lemos, her first goal of the game. Lou, not going to risk an opportunity by giving the ball back to Stony Brook. Lou, here is a nice pass, and a beautiful pass from Gertzen to Bayeko for her sixth goal of the game, and that will just about do it for the Seabulls' chances of coming back. 15-12. Stanford, 1.14 left to go in this. Gives it bad to Lemos. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and Stanford crowds the field of Kenneth P. Laval Stadium and wins against Stony Brook's home opener, 15 to 12. And it was a career day for Ali Bayako for Stanford with six goals. And they are able to come into Kennepi Laval Stadium after losing last year to Stony Brook 15 to 9 on February 19th. They come back a little over a, a year and two weeks later and go to Stony Brook once again and are able to overcome the Seawolves and their offense 15 to 12. But that is all here from Kennepi Laval Stadium. I'm Jim Furchwin. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.